Senators today voted to confirm Admiral Lisa Franchetti as Chief of Naval Operations and moments ago approved General David Alvin as Air Force Chief of Staff. Alabama Senator Tommy Tuberville's hold is forcing this time consuming work where they're having to approve these nominees one by one in the Senate. Joining me now is CNN military analyst, retired Lieutenant General Mark Hurtling. Great to have you here with us. Um, walk me through some of these promotions that are still on hold by Tuberville are specifically related to these U.S. positions and, and the posture in the Middle East with this Israel and Hamas war that is ongoing. Uh, some of these positions include the deputy commander of U.S. Central Command, the commander and deputy commander of the Fifth Fleet. Deputy Commanding General of Joint Special Operations Command. Those are big, lofty titles. What does this say to you? Yeah, and what, and name, well, what do you, about readiness? Yeah, and I could name a bunch more, Jessica, and some of them that I know personally, and they're terrific officers. You know, in, in matters of national security, elected civilians have the right to be wrong. Uh, military officials don't determine policy, we trust our civilian leaders to do that. But we also trust them not to put our military profession at risk, to damage our institutions, or to be cruel. We've gotten to the point now where Senator Tuberville, Tuberville is not only being irrational, but he's being cruel to both the military officers and their families. This has now languished for seven months. And as you just pointed out, a lot of different people are affected. Many of them are in the fight. Many of them are working double jobs, and in some cases, and I've experienced in the past this in the past on a hold, they are prevented from going into the position because there's a rule or regulation called presumption of position. You can't do that unless you've been confirmed by the Senate. Uh, so all of these things are contributing to a national security risk, and I guess it's more important for the senator to continue this performative politics and being cruel than it is for making him to sit down and write some legislation and maybe have his fellow senators vote on it, uh, which they wouldn't do. So this, this is just shameful in my view, truthfully. Mm -hmm. And I, I wanna talk to you before I let you go. We have new information uh, from Israel. The Israeli Defense Forces saying its military has completed its encirclement of Gaza City. This is just breaking from the IDF. What does that mean to you? And, and help explain that to us civilians. Well, there's a couple things. We're, we're talking a, a somewhat of a siege of this city. Uh, there's a, it's evidently being driven by Israeli intelligence that they know there's a significant number of Hamas terrorist cell either in the city or more likely under the city. They have also conducted these strikes that have generated such uh, outcry in the last couple of days that seems to have uh, destroyed cells and killed key leaders. What they're attempting to do now is squeeze Hamas into that one city of Gaza City. After they do that, Jessica, I suggest they're going to go other places because when you're talking about the miles and miles, in fact, hundreds of miles of tunnels and facilities underneath Gaza City, Hamas has made this their main stand, and they're using the civilians in that area as protective shields, not only the civilians, but their facilities. They've placed these tunnels underneath hospitals, underneath uh, administrative facilities, under camps, under uh, civilian dwellings. So I think what Israel's trying to do is just basically surround so those Hamas leaders can't get out and their fighters can't get out of the city and they're going to continue to conduct the offensive to try and kill or capture many of these uh, Hamas terrorists. All right, General Mark Hurtling, thanks so much. Always great to see you. We appreciate your analysis there.